Oh, 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 okay, okay. It went, it's gone. That hurts so bad. So uh, I'll make it brief, uh, I pulled my hamstring. Oh, that sucks, what were you doing? Uh, we were doing a sprint test video. Oh, well, I guess you get to stretch more next time. Hi, it's Greg Ellis here with the 18 and the National Peanut Board. We're out here today to find out just what it takes to be a professional soccer player. We've got two athletes of different levels of fitness and they're going to be doing training exercises performed by players in leagues around the world to see just how difficult these challenges really are. So let's meet the athletes. First up we have Isai, a D1 college soccer player, top 20 in the United States of America, eligible for the Super Draft and he has an agent. And then of course, We've got David, average Joe writer here at the 18, lives in his mother's basement, straight from the couch today, played on the C team in high school, freshman year, 50 Battle Royale wins, but no agent, yet. Test number one. First up today, we have the speed test, a 30 meter dash to the finish line. A professional soccer player would do this in around 4.12 seconds, and the world record is 3.81 seconds. Isai, are you feeling confident? Yeah, very confident. A man of few words, but powerful words. And David, when was the last time you ran 30 meters? My cat peed on my bed and I had to chase it. So first up we have Isai. Best of luck when you're ready. Straight out the gate he goes, pumping arms and legs. He's 70 miles an hour in the middle and he's going to hit the tape at 3.949 seconds. That is amazing. Next up we have David. That's the way you're running, David. You're a tiger. You can do this. You can do it. You know you can. When you're ready, take it away and the best of luck. There he goes, David, pumping, doing really well. Look, arms and legs flailing. Oh, 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 oh I heard something go. I oh, heard something ow, go. Ow, 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 ow. That didn't sound good. So you think you've pulled your hamstring? It's gone. It's long gone, Silvers. It's, it's out of there. So how do you think you're going to get down to your basement tonight? I'm going to need to be carried. I hope my mom has been working her arms. I know it doesn't sound. You want to Yeah. I could do it. Off the bench? I'll do it, yeah. Start limbering up. <laughs> That's not have it. Can we, yeah. can we put you in slide. David's out? <laughs> <laughs> and next up is the vertical jump, and we're joined by our substitute, Colby. Oh, we hope you hit the high bar in the vertical jump. I sound like LinkedIn, don't I? <laughs> a simple test, how high can you jump? The professional average on this is 18 and a half inches. The world record is 65 inches. Take it away and best of luck. So great form straight up. Oh, and he's got one. 106 and a half. The next one, yeah, 106 and a half. 18 inches of vertical there for Colby. Next up is east side. Standing start. Good luck. Go for it. Here we go. Oh, and he's completely annihilated it. He's gone over the top. Mike now is uh, enhancing the height of our apparatus. Yeah, it's a basketball hoop. Yeah, basketball hoop for a standing start. And next we have the dreaded beep test. A back and forth endurance run. You've got to get past the gate before the beep or you're out. Don't pull a hammy, we've run out of subs and I'm certainly not putting my shorts on today just for your sake at home. So here we go. Off to a slow and steady start. These beeps do get quicker. Some people have called this event a marathon, not a sprint. Technically it's a marathon full of sprints. They're wrong in their face. Colby! Well, Isai, you carry on. So Colby, you maxed out. What level was there? Level six. Well done, Colby. How do you think that went? For a sub, I'll take it. And Isai just keeps grinding on, just going through the gears here. It's amazing to watch, as you can see. More beeps than the, the checkouts on Black Friday. There, he's out. He have been eliminated. That's around 1,800, 1,900 meters. And up next is the broad jump. The world record on this one is 146.8 inches. Around here in the 90 inches mark, that's the professional soccer player average. When you're ready. Arms swinging, that pink bib, flapping in the breeze, he's nailed that. 65. 65. 65 inches. On my whistle. So up steps east side, focused. Wow. <laughs> 
97. Wow. Now it's time for the push-up challenge. Head to head, last man standing or lying down or in a reclining position, horizontal anyway. The average for a professional soccer player is around 47. The world record is an astonishing 10,507. Colby, are you feeling confident? I'm not, I don't have good shoulders. Bad shoulders, that's bad for today's event, but if you want, I can give you a buy. I do have a note from David's mom saying that he has a bad chest. So it's all on you, he's saying. And straight out of the gate, up and down, relentless. Up and down, up and down. And that's literally all you can say about push-ups. And now a little bit quicker. That looks like it's it. 62 straight through the professional soccer player average. And here we are at the end. An amazing performance, Isai. Won every single event. Two of the finest backroom staff that the 18 has. Couldn't even get close to you. Well done. Thanks for taking part. I think that shows you just how difficult it is to be a professional soccer player and how great these athletes are. I've been Greg Ellis here with the 18. Take care. See you later. Of course, I think I could have beaten Isai if I, uh, if I had the right shoes on today.